Hey Soul Family. So this is a video which is going to be available for purchase on my Etsy shop. Um, and if you've felt guided to purchase this video, then most likely it's for you. Um, it's obviously it's not going to be as completely accurate as if you purchased a personal reading from me because when we interact, then I can pick up on your energy fields. I'm an energy reader. This is what I do. But most likely if the title brought you in, then something in this reading, almost all of it will resonate with you. And um, I'm just going to put that into the universe. So this is going to be a general love reading. <clears throat> And it will be timeless. <clears throat> okay, so what does our person need to know? The one that purchased this video, what do they need to know? Okay, it looks like you are having some issues with some toxic people in your life. Spirit is saying, if people are not adding to your life right now, then it's time to go ahead and cut them out and do not, do not by any means drag yourself down to their level. It says, watch out for people that don't add to your life. They are dragging you down to their level. You don't deserve this. You're worth much more. Okay? And when you do that, there's going to be some new connections and new relationships that are coming in that are more aligned to you, okay? And literally, these came out back to back. This one came out first, and then this one. It says, new connections, you can't read it because it's backwards, new connections and new relationships that are more aligned to you are entering your life. So see, once you cut out these toxic individuals, whether this is friendships, new friendships, new connections, new relationship, new business ventures, whatever. But we're going to be focusing on the love. So we're going to say this is going to be a new connection, which it could be a new friendship which starts out as a friendship and then turns into love or just a new relationship. Okay. Okay, Spirit is also saying that you need to balance your heart chakra there's been an imbalance right now in your heart chakra. It says, you may be heartbroken or dealing with heartbreak. Use this time to surround yourself with people that will uplift you. So, before any of these new connections and that can come in, you need to do some heart chakra work. Now, you know, the heart chakra is located literally on the heart. Um, and you know, you can do that by visualizing beautiful green growing, glowing, growing, <laughs> glowing lights coming from your heart chakra because the heart chakra is a beautiful, bright green nature color. Um, you can do that during meditation. That's the quickest way to heal your heart chakra. Um, it's just saying that your heart chakra is unbalanced. So if you experienced a heartbreak in a relationship that didn't quite turn out how you wanted it to, to turn out, um, then that's going to be the first step um, towards your healing. Um, Spirit is also saying that, wow, so yeah, there's definitely some heart chakra work that needs to be done here. So another two other cards came out, but I want to read this other one that came out. Um, it says, resentment or anger is blocking your heart chakra. Forgive and let these feelings go. Listen to 528 hertz. So, and I'm, I'm sorry, I know you can't read this because they're backwards. Um, and I, I don't know how to, I don't, I can't figure out how to flip the camera um, for you guys. Now, 528 HC or hertz is a frequency which helps to align your heart chakra and also to help you um, release anger. So this is two cards here that came out that are related to the heart chakra. So before you can move forward in any, any um, at all in your love life, that those need to be unblocked first, okay? So my advice would be to focus on that and then sort of move 
um, you know, in the other direction because spirit is saying, um, once you cut out these tax, this toxic partner that has been really creating this, these, um, these, I'm sorry, my children are so loud that is creating this imbalance in your heart chakra and creating this resentment that it will um, make room for new relationships and new connections. Spirit is also saying that you cannot pour from an empty cup to make sure that you're filling your own cup before you're filling others. So now this feels like you're probably super busy. Some of you um, might be a single dad or a single mom. And, you know, it is very necessary to take time for yourself. See, this is my time for myself and also for you guys. <laughs> Even though my children are crazy loud out there. Okay, we're going to pull two more cards from this and be done. What else does our person need to know? Two more, please. See, another card about pouring from an empty cup. It says, self-love is important at this time. Put yourself first. Take care of yourself and be gentle with yourself. So spirit is really hammering this over the head. You cannot make it up. This is why I love to do these readings because I'm sitting here pulling cards, you know, at random from this deck and they're all resonating and falling into a storyline. This is how spirit will work through readers so that you can get the message that you need. Okay. <clears throat> they will give you what you pay for. Okay. So this one literally says self care self-love is important at this time put yourself first take care of yourself and be gentle with yourself the last card says being grateful for all that we have leads our hearts to overflow with abundance give thanks for the things you have and watch your life change so the spirit is just basically saying that having a little gratitude for the lessons that you have learned in love will um, will, you know, sort of change your mindset into a, um, an abundance mindset of love. And I have been doing that recently since, you know, we have six planets in retrograde. I, I read somewhere that if you say thank you for the lessons that you have learned, that um, spirit will, will take it as, oh, you know, they've learned that lesson and then they will, you know, bring on the new blessings that will come after this, these lessons. So let's just take a moment to say thank you for the, those lessons of, of love that I have, all of, that I have learned in regards to my love life so that spirit can bring you in this, these new connections. I hope you guys can see I have my light set up. All right. Um, why don't we pull a grace card for you and go from there. Okay, what does our person need to know? What is What else do they need to know? Spirits, and thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. All right, what do we got here? What else does our person need to know? What do they need to know? You know what they need to know, Spirit. I'm just a messenger. Can we get three cards from here, please? So it looks like we have beauty, we have courage. I'm literally staring at a thing that says, see beauty everywhere. That one <clears throat> flew out, so we're gonna take it. We have prey, beauty, and act. So this is the first card that came out for you. It says, surround yourself. Why is there makeup underneath this fingernail? <laughs> That's funny. Surround yourself, there's eyeliner under this thumb. I don't know how that happened. Surround yourself. It's probably mascara, to be honest. Surround yourself with simple pleasures. Beauty is the language of the divine. So <clears throat> the divine source of love, 
God, Source, um, the Universe, Buddha, whatever you want to, whatever you believe in, Jesus, the the Divine will speak to you through simple things of beauty. So <clears throat> beautiful things that you notice throughout the day um, are things that the divine is sending you to remind you that you are loved. So for example, you go outside, you see a butterfly that lets you know that the, the divine um, God is sending you that message to let you know that you are loved and divinely cared for. So take the time to connect with you know, whatever deity you believe in and give thanks for, you know, those gifts of love, which will, you know, exponentially, um, totally, um, double your blessings. So we have charge forward. When we combine action with unwavering faith, the power of grace will meet our needs. So the spirit is saying it's time to act on Whatever it is that you feel like you need to act in, uh, upon in regards to your life um, and act with courage to go forward. Um, look, she's literally stepping, this person is stepping out of the dark and into the light. Okay. And so that is going to be significant for you throughout your journey. And then we also have pray. I am open and receptive to the power of grace in my life now. I ask to be shown clear examples of how this energy is operating in my life. So, if you talk to the divine, whatever deity you believe in, it doesn't matter, and, um, and, and you know, everyone's going to pray differently. If you pray and you ask the divine for answers. You ask your guardian angels for answers. Um, you, you ask for signs and things of that nature. Or like it says here, clear examples of how the energy of grace is operating in my life. Then spirit will always answer you. They will never ignore you. You only have to make room and allow for them to speak to you. Let them know that you are open to receive the answers and they will always answer you. Whether that's in the form of a synchronicity, you know, or a sign. And you know, synchronicities and signs are things that happen that people go, oh, it's just a coincidence, but it's really not. You know, you go outside, you see the number 333-666 on a license plate. That is a divine message from spirit that you need to pay attention to. All right. Um, what sack should we use next? Why don't we do a um, Wisdom of the Hidden Realm card for you? And then we're going to move on to some tarot for you and see what we can divine for you. Okay. What does our person need to know? Can we give them one more spirit message in regards to this love connection? So these are all things that you need to work on in order to, you know, create your highest timeline of romance and love in your life. And spirit will never steer you wrong. Trust that the divine will give you the message that you are seeking. So if you found this message, all of this is for you. Okay. Even if you feel like there's parts that are not for you, you know, I would be open-minded about it. Wow. See, I told you in order, I was just saying in order to find your highest timeline, which of course is some kind of sacred union with the person that you love, whoever's on your mind right now. And if you found me, you know that I'm a twin soul reader. I'm a twin flame reader. That is my specialty. It is my life purpose it is what i was chosen chosen to do it's my life path from spirit and look you got the sacred union card it says partnership and romance number 27 
If you add it up, it's nine. Seven and two is nine. Um, now, right now, Spirit is saying, if you follow this path that they literally laid out for you, then this is what, what's going to be the outcome, which is sacred union. Now, in order to get sacred union out in, oh, it's just 1515 on my camera time. So in order to get sacred union, um, when I get those number codes, I just, I get really excited. It lets me know that I'm on the right path for you, like reading for you. This is your message. So in order to, to um, manifest sacred union in the outside, you have to have sacred union within yourself. So for example, that means you are going to have to integrate your divine masculine and your divine feminine within yourself. And then also your inner child, all of them have to come into divine union within you. You have to do the work. And you do that by just facing your fears, um, integrating your shadows, the things that you don't like about yourself, learning to love them and accept them. And it's a process. Just continue to keep going. Every time, you know, you might feel like, oh, it was just 1616. <laughs> Every time you feel like, um, you know, you've done something wrong, you haven't. They're all lessons. Trust the process. Just keep going. All you can do is trust yourself. Trust spirit. Trust your spirit guides. Trust your guardian angels and trust God's source to lead you. And know that every step that you take, even if it feels like it's a huge step back, is vital to your journey. So the most important thing that you can do for yourself is just to continue to keep going, keep doing the work no matter what that looks like, okay? All right, we're going to read this card, number 27. <clears throat> it says, the sacred union is all about beautiful, true partnership. It shows you that spirit is listening and is always by your side, helping you co-create your greatest desires and manifest your destiny. When you receive this ally, know that you're never alone on your path. Partnership with the divine is yours whenever you need help. So this is about co-creating with God. The sacred union also represents the coming together of all kinds of harmonious alliances, friendships, family, business, and of course, romance. I told you. No matter what the form, this message, it's romance because this is a love reading. This message pertains to the value of partnership and reminds you to observe the gifts bestowed upon you by this sacred union. This is a very positive omen. So if you have a person in mind that you're thinking of, Spirit is confirming for you right now through this video that this person is indeed your twin flame. It says, reminds you, no matter what the form, this message pertains to the value of partnership and reminds you to observe the gifts bestowed upon you by this sacred union. So Spirit is saying this is a sacred union. If you had any doubts, then dispel them right now. This is a sacred union, okay? The sacred union, if it is your challenger, warns you to be careful of your associations at this time. So this is if you are looking at this as a shadow integration, okay? You may be entering into a situation that will cause more aggravation and drama than you can handle. So beware of people around your sacred union that will be jealous of your sacred union, okay? Be, be, be mindful as well as as well of addictive tendencies in making partnership commitments. Are you choosing from an obsessive need to distract yourself from moving forward in your life? Are you ignoring your red flags in order to change the course of events to suit you? Could it be possible that you're the recipi recipient of mixed messages? This is a time to put a little distance between you and your quarry. More will be revealed to help you make the correct choice to support your soul's growth. So if you came here because there's red flags or there's questions or there's jealousy, then all that is confirmed too. Be careful that you're not using, you know, the twin flame journey as a way to distract yourself from doing the work that you know you need to be doing to get into this sacred union, okay? 
And if there's any red flags in regards to your person, then you need to analyze those and decide if there's any red flags that you are putting up in regards to yourself. Are you not loving yourself the way you're supposed to? Are you not setting up boundaries with other people? Um, there's always something that you will be doing that your twin flame will be mirroring back to you because you guys are mirrors, mirror souls. So if there's a red flag your twin is showing you, then that is a red flag that needs to be worked out within yourself. As crappy as that sounds, it's true. All right, so we are going to pull some tarot and then I'm going to pull an Akashic card for you. All right, let's see what this person needs to know in regards to their twin soul um, journey. Let me know what they need to know, Spirit. So far, it's been a beautiful reading. Try to keep this reading under 30 minutes. All right. Let me make some room here. Okay. I'm just going to start getting some cards out. Okay. Sorry for any background noise. Ooh. Using my intuition. Speaking of intuition, there's the high priestess. It's intuition. So I'm going to lay some cards out. And when Spirit says the message is complete, I'm going to stop pulling them. Okay. So Spirit has, is showing me that there's been a significant delay or pause in your love life, which is making you feel really confused. But at the same time, you know everything that you need to know at this time. You, There's no more messages coming through in regards to what you need to know because you've already used your intuition to divine what you need to know. That's what Spirit is saying. And as the confirmation, it was just 22, 22 when I looked up. So whatever imbalance has been in your relationship, it's going to fix itself. Even though there has been a, not a lot of movements and some of you have felt really, really down and quite lost about why there's been no movement, your, your happily ever after is, is on the way, okay? I got the Ten of Swords followed by the Sun. So this period of learning lessons in your life and all of this pain, the Ten of Swords, is over look at what's next it's the sun it's bliss and then right after that immediately came out the two of cups divine union again so if you got this reading if you felt called to this reading your divine union is literally right around the corner please do not give up i know okay hold on let me just get some more cards out i know it's been a really 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 long journey but look at all of these, this energy, this energy of stalemates, waiting around, being bored, feeling like nothing's happening, you know, um, it's all shifting, okay? Spirit is saying, continue to fight for your healing, continue to stay focused and centered on your healing, okay? You already know everything you need to do in order to, wow, yes, there's that forward movement. My goodness. Wow, yep. See, look, there's going to be a public declaration of love really soon. That's amazing. I am, um, wow. There's a lot of movement coming. 
We got six of wands, three of wands, seven of wands. Letting go of all of this bad energy which has kept you stuck. I told you things are shifting. Six of swords. We got two sevens. We got the chariot. We got seven of wands. Two sixes, six of wands, six of swords. So for some of you, this is going to be a merging of extended family. So for some of you, it's going to be like a ready-made family. You might have children. Your person might have children when you guys get together. Um, it's going to be a really happy family type energies coming through. All right, look, Spirit is telling me to keep putting in the work. We got Eight of Pentacles, Page of Swords. You're, whatever you're doing, whatever you're learning right now about yourself, this is exactly what you're supposed to be doing, okay? Your person is having a little bit of trouble. They are fighting off the urge to come forward, um, Whatever it is, they're they're going through some, you know, some things too. But they're, both of you right now, it shows me that you're both integrating your light and your dark. This, the, the chariot um, shows me that there's been some massive integration in both of you. Um, continue to do the work. Continue to focus on yourself. Can we get some more cards, Spirit? There's going to be a public declaration of love soon. Wow. Very quickly. Yes, look. Public declaration of love. Six of wands. Eight of wands. We have, we have some movement. Look. We have three of wands. Seven of wands. Eight of wands. So it's been a progression. We got three of wands. Six of wands. Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands. So see, keep taking those guided steps because it's going to end in union. Can we get a final outcome card, please, Spirit? Wow. And I think we'll get an Akashic Record card um, for you. Can we get one more card? What is the last thing that this beautiful soul who's going to have union soon? Congratulations. What do they need to know? Wow, look at that. Look at this. All of this beautiful abundance and fruitfulness and feelings of being loved and, oh, lots of um, sensual, <laughs> I can't talk, lots of sensual love making with your person. Um, it's beautiful energy. They literally see you as this amazing, beautiful goddess or god. Um, the energy, when you guys get together, you have so many beautiful things coming in. I mean, look at this energy. It's the sun. We have the two of cups and we have the empress. It's a, a life filled with love, abundance. Um, and after so much pain, after, you know, look, letting go, um, feeling lost, um, feeling like there was no movement at all, and, you know, doing all of this work on yourself, using your intuition, integrating your, your shadows, um, fighting for yourself, fighting for, you know, your best version of yourself. You know, learning about what it is that you needed to do and looking towards your future is bringing in this public declaration of love very, very, very quickly. Look at that. So once what was once a stalemate and you're sitting there like nothing's happening. This sucks. I'm bored. I've done all this work. I've let go of things. You know, I'm sitting here, I'm I'm at rock bottom, I'm all alone, I have nobody, I've done so much work on myself, and then bam, there it is. You've had, what, two cards already of union, you, I mean, <laughs> that's your answer. 
All right, we're going to pull an Akashic card and we're going to be done with this reading. It's been so beautiful. So let's see if Spirit can confirm, you know, your guys' you know, connection in your Akashic card. Um, what a beautiful reading. All right. Let's see what time it is. Ooh, it's hot in here. All right, can we get one last card? One last card, sweetheart. One last card. What is this? What does this person need to know? If you could tell them anything about this connection, what is it? What's the last thing you need to know about this connection? Woo. Okay, we have three cards. All right, so we have number 12, female relationships, eight crown chakra, and 37, third eye. So do some third eye work. Boop. That is going to give you some answers that um, it's going to help you on your journey. You're going to discover more answers. Once you do your third eye work, something may come to you in meditation. We have crown chakra. So once you do your third eye work, you're going to be getting some crown chakra activations, which will help you to activate your next level. And there's some kind of female relationship that is going to help you in regards to your twin flame journey. So whether that is healing a relationship with your mother, um, it could be a sister, it could even be the relationship with the divine feminine within yourself. And yes, if you're a male, you do have one. Um, this is number 12. Add it up and it's three. So um, that, that needs to be fixed. All right. This is number eight, crown chakra. And this is number 37. So add that up and it's 10. So some kind of new, new um, beginning coming in. But you won't be able to see it unless you do your third eye work. All right. That's going to conclude this reading. I hope you enjoyed it. It is 32.22 on my phone. Um, thank you for purchasing this reading. And I will be uploading more to my Etsy channel. So Etsy channel. I will be uploading more to my Etsy shop for you to purchase. Thank you for supporting me. I love you.